In this video, I'm going to show you how you can edit your photos using Topaz Photo AI through Adobe Photoshop. And in this case here, I'm going to be using a Canon RAW file. And you can either launch Photoshop first and then open the file, or you can take the file from wherever it is on your computer and drag it on the Photoshop icon. Now, because I'm working with a RAW file, Adobe Camera Raw will be open by default. If you want, you can make any adjustments to your RAW file, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just going to click on open. Now, if I zoom in, you can see that the image suffers from a lot of noise. And before I do any editing, I first want to get rid of this noise. The way that I prefer to work with Topaz Photo AI from within Photoshop is to create a dedicated layer for it. To do that, I'm going to right click on the original layer and then select duplicate layer. And then I'm going to rename this to Topaz Photo AI and then click OK. Now to access Photo AI, go to the filter menu, then go to Topaz Labs and select Topaz Photo AI. In Photo AI, the first thing that I review are the autopilot findings. Autopilot is the hallmark feature of Photo AI. It's where you will see everything that Photo AI has detected with your image, from the issues that are affecting it to whether there is a subject that was identified or if you're working with a portrait, it will show you the number of faces detected as well as whether those faces are low quality. If you hover over the word subject in Autopilot, you will see a mask automatically applied to the detected subject and you'll see any other issues that were identified. More importantly, in addition to identifying the issues, Photo AI will automatically apply the most appropriate model and strength to get rid of that issue. So in this split view, you can see here, if I swipe to the right, all of that noise that affects the image, but as we swipe to the left, you can see that that noise is removed while retaining all of the important information in the bird's head. Now, of course, you are free to make any changes to the autopilot settings. So if you want to enable sharpening, you can do that. You can adjust the strength. You can also specify whether sharpening should apply only to that detected subject or to the entire image. But if you ever want to return back to the original autopilot settings, just click on this reset to autopilot settings button to go back. One thing to note about using photo AI with a Photoshop workflow is that resizing is not supported in Photo AI when using Photoshop. You'll have to do that using Photoshop or outside of Photoshop. When you're done, just click on Save to Adobe Photoshop to return back. Now, if we zoom in, you can see that I can hide the top Topaz Photo AI layer, and you'll see the original noisy layer below it. One of the nice things about using a layer-based workflow is that you can do things like apply a layer mask should you want to reveal the layer below. Just add that layer mask, and select your brush with black as your foreground. And then as you paint, you can see that noise being returned. Of course, if you don't want that, just right click on the layer mask and delete it. And that's how you would access Topaz Photo AI from Adobe Photoshop. To learn more about Photo AI, head over to topazlabs.com. Thanks a lot.